Today I survived the most difficult fitness and diet challenge in the entire world and this is why I think you would fail. <clears throat> kind of like me failing at posting YouTube videos last year, but... <clears throat> So you guys might have heard of the viral 75 hard challenge that's all over TikTok and YouTube right now. You guys love before and after photos. I love before and after photos. So this is a video of me sucking in. This is how I look normally. And this is how I look when I pose and have great lighting. And this is how you do it. Number one, drink enough water where you essentially feel like you're waterboarding yourself. Number two, do two workouts a day because you don't have a job or any real responsibility. So you have all the free time in the world to do two different workouts per day, one inside, one outside. Number three, read 10 pages from a non-fiction book. Number four, keep a diet. And I know what you're thinking. Blair, what diet are you going to keep? I was thinking the fast food diet. And finally, number five, take progress pictures every day so you can be pissed off when you don't look like a Victoria's Secret supermodel. You have to do all of these tasks every single day for 75 days. And water pistol emoji to my head. I don't think I can do it. I don't think anyone has enough time to do it. I think the people that are doing it are lying. <clears throat> This is going to be the worst 75 days of my life. And I've been divorced. <laughs> Let's start with a healthy diet and drinking enough water. Do you guys think the ice cubes in my iced coffee count as water? I have to be a good fitness influencer, so I'm on my best behavior. So I will be doing the rainbow diet. Um, Mediterranean diet kind of vibe. My grandpa taught me this. It's basically where you eat the entire rainbow in your diet. So you have a lot of red, orange, pink. Basically, this ensures that you're eating enough fruits and vegetables so that you have all the vitamins and minerals that your body needs. I know what you're thinking, Blair. You love being sneaky. Yes, I am including red hot Cheetos, orange mac and cheese, and yellow Twinkies into my diet too. It's the rainbow diet. What do you want from me? After breakfast, I walked back home and I had to do my morning go to the bathroom. Um, and I noticed this coconut water here from when I was hungover on New Year's Day and couldn't start this challenge. So good memories already. And then I took my vitamins because health is well. I'm going to try to do them all in one go. This is what my grandpa does. It's not working. Wow, I'm great at opening my throat. Thank you very much. This is my outfit today. I picked it up for like $5 in some random little shop. Saving money on clothes this year because I'm financially responsible or wasted too much money shopping last year. Okay. Um, the Dior bag comes everywhere. I just posted a video of us going to go see the elephants and I got absolutely roasted for bringing this. She comes everywhere. Like, if you don't know she comes everywhere, you must be new here. Hi, nice to meet you on Blair Walnuts. Okay, I'm going to head to the grocery store right now, but I thought I would show you guys what I currently have in my fridge. Because I'm a health influencer, okay? A half-eaten pizza. Borscht. This is gonna start a war in the comments. Vegemite. I also have two oranges and a dragon fruit. And I thought maybe it would be fun to do a little challenge. Like, what can I cook with two moldy oranges and half a pizza? Nothing. <laughs> so, we're gonna head to the grocery store. I actually haven't been to the grocery store in Bali, so I'm pretty excited to see what they have. I picked a pretty big one. We're gonna go there now. And I know you guys are expecting me to go on a little motorcycle on the way there, but I can't even ride a bike. I just remembered I'm supposed to be drinking water. Do not drink the water in Bali if you're a foreigner. I think people that are um, from here, like, they're fine, but you haven't had it. their type of, like, growing up. You might get, like, a stomach bug situation. But I don't really like when people call it Bali Belly. Like, the people from Bali aren't really getting it. They're used to the food and the water here. Just like, if you came to Bulgaria, for example, where I'm from, and you got sick from the food, but I don't get sick from that same food. Like, it's not a Bulgarian belly. I eat sheep stomach soup and, like, livers. Like, I'm not going to fault anyone's, like, food or country for making me ill. And now we're stalking a walnut in the wild, pondering throughout the entire grocery stores because she didn't come here with a list. She is unprepared and has no idea what she should get to cook. She rarely ever cooks and just feeds herself Lunchables. So what will she get? A bunch of random ingredients that don't make any sense that she spent $100 on? Find out soon. 
Distracted by the candy, cookie, and chocolate aisle, she soon finds out that this grocery store has more than your average American grocery store even when she spots this incredible Cheetos mac and cheese. But she puts it down and goes back to the shrimp because she's supposed to be setting a good and healthy example even though she doesn't normally eat like this every day. Wait, I'm gonna do my first workout over there. Slay. Old habits die hard. I just got back from the grocery store. I'm starving. So before we do anything else, we're eating some chicken, okay? I knew I was gonna get hungry, so I pre-thought my meals with chicken, and then I got pumpkin and green beans. It is literally cheaper to go buy a salad from a pre-made salad place than it is to make one at home. Which confuses me. Growing up, my parents always said, cook at home, it's cheaper. How? But okay, anyway. You grocery shopped at the most expensive grocery store in the country. What did you expect? Take a sip of your Coke, tell me to pause. I ain't can buy the pros, I came to talk. It's numbing most, cheese cracks apart. Don't think I forgot to do my two workouts of the day. I'm just making dinner first so I don't have to worry about it when I get home from my two workouts. I'm sick of watching you crash like you're a Bitcoin. Can't help you help yourself if you don't wake up. So one of the requirements for the 75 hard day challenge is to get through 10 pages of a book. I love listening to Audible as I prep dinner as a way to work towards my 2024 goals. It's a great way to be able to make progress for the 75 hard day challenge. And thanks to Audible for being our sponsor because if you guys are new members, you can get a free trial of Audible and pick any audiobook you want. Right now, I'm listening to The Diary of a CEO because I'm trying to figure out how to get rich quick. If you're an Audible member, you can choose one title a month to keep from the entire catalog, including bestsellers, new releases, and you also get full access to a growing selection of included audiobooks, Audible originals, and podcasts. You can download all the titles you want. They have an incredible selection of them from every single genre. So if you want to listen to a celebrity memoir, a mystery, a thriller, motivation, something for wellness, and how to make 2024 your year, the Audible app makes it super easy to listen anytime, anywhere, while traveling, working out, doing chores, cooking. You can get through so many titles every single year if you just listen while you're doing something else. So while you're doing your workouts this month or something annoying like cooking, listen to an audiobook because it makes time go by so much faster and you can gain so much knowledge. So thanks to Audible for sponsoring this portion of the video. And if you want a free trial, there's a link in the description box. Okay, back to me cooking dinner at lunchtime so I don't have to do it later. I'm so confused. It looks like concrete. I'm so confused as to what I just bought. Moment of truth, trying to figure out what I made. It tastes like a mochi rice. It's actually really nice. We're gonna go play tennis now. I've made an entire mess in the kitchen behind me. 75 hard feels like an entire full-time job and my job is to film content, make videos, so this is my job. Um, and I'm kind of struggling because there's so many tasks to do. So if you have a busy work schedule, please be kind to yourself. Don't stress yourself out. Because like I've told you before, if you stress yourself out, you raise your cortisol levels and then you hold on to more weight and you're more stressed in your body and any positive benefits you could have had from working out or eating healthy will be like negated because it will just be so stressed. So better thing is to like not do so much and just chill, you know? Just be like a French person and don't work, okay? I mean work, don't work hard. Work smart, not hard. <laughs> We broke in a hotel to play tennis. We come here to use the gym and have lunch. I think they think we're staying here at this point. Look at how pretty it is. Crazy. Apparently there's two really good people playing tennis, so that fucking sucks for me. Oh. My town 
Not yet. Tomorrow. I did that on purpose. Hey. Yeah. Let's see how you do under pressure. Oh. Yeah. I've been wanting this shit forever. I've been in the field with whatever they throw at me. Brush it off, pick myself up, moving on to the better. Okay. Hey. Yeah. Ain't no errors, baby. It's a new era. I wake up early, feeling rich like I'm cash. Now I'm gonna go straight to the gym so I can finish the two workouts because I'm not doing this again. I guess I am doing it tomorrow, but. <laughs> So I did random things in the gym with no rhyme or reason and then I got scared of other people so I went to go ride the bike. If you guys have any recommendations on gym workout videos, please leave them in the comments below. I just got home, I showered. I don't wanna eat a shrimp salad. I don't wanna clean up the kitchen. I feel like I did strenuous work all day. Who has time for this? This is gonna be the worst 75 days of my life. And I've been divorced. <laughs> I'm getting into that like loopy phase of my tired. At least I'm like tired by 9 p.m. I've done a lot of diet and fitness challenges on my channel and this was the most financially physically and mentally excruciating one just because it felt like a full-time job and what is my job being a stay-at-home girlfriend so i don't want to do this <laughs> also to go with this diet i don't want to do it alone so i'm forcing you guys to participate with me and suffer with me so i've created a telegram group where we can chat with each other just please be nice to each other if you're not nice or you say anything mean or etc etc i will kick you out but basically to hold each other accountable so in there people share recipes they share workout videos that they like they talk about books they like audio books and all these sorts of things i think it's kind of fun everyone's like going on walks and talking about yoga and people like check up on each other in there so i really like it there's a link down in the description box so this is how my day went this is only day one because I want you guys to do it with me from today so I'm expecting you in my telegram group because I'm not doing these 75 days alone so I will see you there <laughs>